What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, and I will be doing a reading, tarot reading, numerology, and astrology for <laughs> Cancer for the month of April 2019. Stay tuned. All right, Cancers, I wanna say happy Easter and happy Passover for everyone um, celebrating that and for the month of April. Um, it's going to be, I think your your month is gonna be pretty, pretty chill. Um, I don't see a lot of major stuff happening, but hey, you decide. Uh, it is a universal seven month, so seven is about rest, it's about meditation, so don't take action immediate action on whatever happens this month. Uh, just co contemplate it, bring it in, and don't let it affect you much because it's a seven month. Everybody's gonna be pretty chill and there's gonna be a lot of conversations happening. Mercury is going direct. And then we have three planets going retrograde. So um, this is definitely a time that we're gonna be doing, repeating things and revisiting some ideas. April 5th, you have a new moon in your 10th house of career and how you see yourself in the world and what you're gonna be famous for, okay? So um, if there's something new that you wanna do, if you haven't started on your career, this is a great time to start on your career. It's a great time to put that intention out. So for you young Cancers, if you still uh, haven't figured out where you wanna be in life, uh, decide right now, write it down on a piece of paper uh, and say on April 5th, it's like, I am this, you know, that's a great practice to do and you will manifest that into your reality. If you are a Cancer that's already started their career, people already know you for something, your career is about to go to a new level, okay? So you're about to take it to the next step, okay, Cancers? April 10th, Jupiter goes retrograde in your sixth house. Your sixth house is about work in your routine, okay? And then Jupiter uh, is about opportunity. So if there's something that when Jupiter goes retrograde, it's about an, um, looking back at things that we missed. So there may be an opportunity that you may have missed in your in your work life. Um, this is also about your health regiment. Um, sixth house is also about how your body and how you use your body. Okay, uh, so if you're trying to do some new health regimen, um, you try something like, oh, I tried the keto diet, it didn't work. Try it again, because Jupiter's retrograde. <laughs> and he'll help you with that. Um, and it, it'll have more results when, he's, when it's retrograde, if you've done it before. If it's something new, then I wouldn't do it. Um, if it's your work life, if it's your day-to-day -day work life, and there was something that didn't work, or you, you tried something in your work life, or you tried to get this certain job, and they didn't hire you, um, apply again. <laughs> and it's this summer, it'll happen all summer until August. Uh, you, you'll have more opportunities to, or Jupiter's gonna open old opportunities up, things that you've already tried, that you think, uh, that didn't work the first time, we'll try, try again. And that's what Jupiter's about. So April 10th, that energy opens up old opportunities that you may have missed, things that you ignored, and that's gonna be all the way into August. So you have all summer long to figure that out. <laughs> April 17th, Mercury moves into your 10th house. So you're gonna have a lot of new ideas about how to advance your career and go for it. Whatever ideas you get about how to advance yourself, write it down and you don't wanna forget it because Mercury is gonna be moving really fast and he's not gonna stay in this area of your life forever. So when, on April 17th, when you start getting ideas about, ooh, I should do that, write it down. Like seriously, like I'm, I'm not kidding you. Because that's what Mercury does. When he's in that certain area of your life, it's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. The ideas are gonna come fast and then you're like, you'll forget it. <laughs> so make sure if it's something about your career life or whatever you wanna do or how you wanna be famous or what people know you for, write it down. And then, like I said, it's a seven months. You may not wanna act on it yet. You may wanna act on it next month. But write these ideas down. Now here's the big weekend, we got April 19th through the 21st, it's Easter weekend, we got a full moon going on. Whew. You got a full moon in your fourth house in Libra. Um, this is the second full moon in Libra that we're having. With the full moon going in that, it's all about lighting up your, your sense of stability, your family life, um, your home life. Um, if you want a house, this is gonna really bring up like, that issue. If you've had any issues with your family members, the issue is gonna pop back up during that full moon um and it's opposing that aries sun so 
Um, the whole point about this is that if there's a chance to make amends or to balance out your stability, to, um, to get forgiveness during with something with your family, uh, take that chance, take that opportunity. Because that full moon in your fourth house, it, it seems very intense when it comes to your stability. And, and Libra wants to harmonize that. Something has gone off. Something, And this is the second full moon in that house. So I want you to think back uh, in March and see if there was any problems with your, your, your place of stability. Okay, because this is the second full moon in your fourth house. So this is your last chance to get it right. April 20th, the sun moves into Taurus. And you'll be a little bit more comfortable in this area because Taurus is an earth sign, you're a water sign. Your fo focus is gonna go on your social circle and your friends. If, you're not, if you haven't been spending a lot of time with your friends, uh, you haven't been out and about being social, being social socializing, because Cancers, y'all can tend to be homebodies sometimes. I want you to go ahead and take the rest of the month and be social. You know, find your friends, like communicate and say, hey, what's going on, what's up, I haven't seen you in a minute. That's where the, that's that 11th house. The 11th house is also your wishes and dreams. It's a good time to um, think about, I and mean, then you've been thinking about your career for the ha first half of the month. Now it's time to make those wishes and to start really focusing on what do I wish I want? You know, what do I wish I wish I want? You know, so you're, you wanna kinda get that going. It's, it's your society, it's the outside world. That's that 11th house energy, you know? And your friends, can help you manifest those things what you want you can manifest but you're not going to manifest it by yourself with that 11 energy it's a duality it's synchronicity it's about making your wishes come true but you're going to need other people to do it so that's why i'm saying socialize april 20th venus also moves on april 20th into aries into your 10th house once again Venus is moving into your 10th house of career. This is really telling me there's a strong emphasis on who you're becoming and who you know. Because you're not gonna get there unless you know somebody. It's all about who you know, isn't it? That's what the universe is telling me. So this is why you need to, on the second half of the month, after the full moon, you need to get out there, socialize, shake some hands, kiss some babies, and like, hey, this is what I wanna do. This is who I am, okay? And get around the, the people that are gonna help you get there. The challenge all summer long at the end of the month, April 24th and April 30th, Pluto and Saturn go retrograde in your seventh house. And this is your seventh house of relationships, okay? Cap, that's in Capricorn. Um, Cancers, the challenge all summer long into August, October, are gonna be some old issues with your relationships. I know you're very driven to get what you want and you want to get this career going, but don't do it at the sacrifice of your relationship with the one you love. I know you're a very emotional person and you, you don't wanna do that. Uh, it could be that the person you're with feels ignored and they start waving off. Uh, this is gonna be a challenge all month long and it's gonna be old issues that are gonna come up and you're gonna to have to deal with it. You're gonna to have to balance out and figure out what am I going to do with these relationships? And they don't have to necessarily be uh, romantic relationships. It could be friendships. It could be um, relationships with people that you're going to be working with. You're going to have to cut out some people. Saturn, Saturn cuts out people. Um, people that you know that need to be cut out your life. And Pluto is going to transform relationships. It transforms the relationships that you currently have into something better. So there are going to be some relationships that are going to transform and there are going to be some relationships that you're going to need to cut out of your life if you want to move ahead. And that's going to be a challenge all summer long. Okay, so let's go to the tarot and see what the tarot has to say. A reading for Cancer for the month of April 2019. Cancer. What does the universe have to say? What's going on with Cancer? for April 2019, Cancer 2019. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse means that um, you really need to take the time to 
to study, to, to go back and relearn something. There's something that you think you know, uh, but you need to go and relearn it. You need to go and rehone your craft, okay? And you know what that tells me? That's that Jupiter in your 10th house, going retrograde in your 10th house. This is your career. There's something you know, something you know how to do, but you need to go back and relearn it. Go back and take a training course. Go back and hone your skills, okay? There's something you need to relearn. And you've got the, wow, that's a good card. Nine of Pentacles. Cancer, you're living a life of luxury. You're gonna be fine. This card tells me that you're comfortable, you're feeling good, you got your money going, and you're getting the things that you want this on the month of April. You're gonna be relearning some things and you're getting what you want. The Hermit card. Watch out about isolating people. Watch out about isolating yourself. Sometimes you're so driven, like I said, you go into that shell. Do not isolate yourself. And this is what I'm talking about being social near the end of the month. Socialize. There's a time to work and there's a time to play. And don't, over, don't overdo anything. And don't overthink everything, okay? So second half of the month, that's what the Hermit card reverse is telling me. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. And this is the Two of Pentacles reverse. Is that there's definitely a juggling going on or somebody's juggling. There's two things that I see. For some, some Cancers, I see that somebody is juggling you. And... If this is you, then this is a juggling of life and not really, it's kind of still out of balance, okay? And it's causing emotional problems. Trying to get what you want. There's a lot of pinnacles and this is, what this is telling me with so many pinnacles, this is all about getting your money, getting your change, getting your life together, but it's out of balance. So with the Libra, with the Libra full moon. Let's get things back into balance, okay? Cancers, let's get things back into balance. What does the animal oracle have to say? What's the advice for Cancer? April, 2019. Cancers, you guys are going through a rebirth stage. This is the bad spirit. Everything is not clear. Uh, the bat is, is technically blind, it cannot see. There are some things that you do not see. You're kind of flying in the dark. You got to use your inner intuition. You got to use that inner sonar to figure out where to go. But it's also going through a rebirth. The bat spirit is about rebirth. You're going through some changes. And um, when you're through with this, you're going to be a new person. But you're not done yet. You're going through a rebirth. And rebirthing, going through that rebirth, there are going to be some things that you don't see yet. You don't quite see where you're going or who you're supposed to be. And there are going to be some things you're going to have to let go and get rid of. And there are going to be some things you're going to have to add into your life in order to get where you want. Okay? Born, I hope that helped you. I hope that resonated with you. If it did, give me a like, uh, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Remember, that the videos that get the most likes and views, whatever, I will post it earlier. Okay, guys? And remember... These are just cards. You're in control of your life. Make something happen. Because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you later. Peace out.